a delayed start here because... Since joining the AFL in 1995, there had never been final success. On a weekend when both of the semi-finals were played in Perth for the first time, the Dockers would break through. This time Melbourne and the victory would be emphatic. Best players were clearly Fremantle's young running players and ground level ball winners. Half back, Heath Black was a standout with his tireless searching runs up the field with his long left foot kicks into attack setting up numerous scoring opportunities. Matthew Carr, along with brother Josh, were also extremely good. The Carr brothers constantly won the ball and cut up Melbourne with their running, while captain Peter Bell and wingman Byron Shammer were influential. Giant ruckman Aaron Sandylands outplayed Jeff White in the ruck, and that proved vital. Last time it was Holland. He goes for the square. So the two important players, oh. Pavlich and Farmer, combine as Pavlich puts Fremantle in front. You would have that feeling, Luke, that you expressed earlier. But he doesn't go for it, and that's pretty good play. Having held their ground in this opening term. Mundy, a young Victorian, kicking it long, very long, long enough. Yes, by a whisker, and the Dockers are back in front. In front of their home crowd, they're doing it pretty tough. Out of the middle, Pavlich. Out wide, this is Shaman now, moving inside 50, digging deep for Fremantle and providing a goal, a lifter. Matthew Carr and the Dockers, Shammer again, he is starring in this quarter. Sandilands works it forward. And Fremantle press again, Webster with Farmer, does oh. get the ball out of his boot and does it brilliantly. And Murphy can line them up from about 40. And it's perfect, he's split them wide open and the Dockers pull back to within nine points. Loops it onto Black, a long way out, places it well. Murphy, oh yes! Saw the chance, set himself for the climb, did it perfectly. Gee, that's an example of how confident he is. He really could have gone through from behind and maybe that was the wiser decision. But McLean got it all ahead of him. Here's Longmuir. Hasn't had a great year, been in and out of the team with injury. But he's come up with the goods. Third time lucky for their set shots. It's through. Sandlins again, crunching hit down beautifully. Shark though by Bruce. Generating some footy for them through green. A wobbly one. Can Neats handle it? No. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a great mark. That's what he can do. He's one of the best contested marks in the AFL, this young fella. It was Daniel rather than David giving it away. Webster over the top. Now Mundy flowing forward. Still the spare man's back for Melbourne. The run comes from the side. Murphy again. He can take a leap. They know he can take a leap, so they're prepared to pop it up in front of the goal square to the danger spot. So even though the season tally is very good, he has missed some ones, but he's got that one on line. Three men are in front of Subiaco. White with the touch, but again, it's that man Black. So damaging, it's a dangerous ball. Oh. And in a whirlwind, Jeff Farmer has taken the mark and will line up for Fremantle. So it's a big moment for Jeff Farmer. And the moment has been seized. Dangerously long, difficult for Nathan Brown. Bell. Just hanging on the Ds. Murphy. Peak. Cleverly off the outside of the boot, and oh, Mundy oh. couldn't quite make it really good. Oh. Carroll dispensed with, Cook finishes the job for Fremantle. Shammer, it's all Fremantle here. Black, that left boot, rapier-like, is right down the throat of Matthew Carr, who can run in and kick the goal. McManus through the middle, what a clearance. Cleared the path and over the chest of Farmer. Oh, Carr's got away. And so is Pavlich. Free kick. Parker's moved on to Meats. For Fremantle. And the kick is very, very good. Oh, Johnston's knocked it straight to Shammer. He only had about one man forward of him. It was Pavlich. Webster now. Back to Shammer. And now the Dockers run forward. Longmuir, slippery ball getting through his fingers, Ooh. but he laid a good shepherd on Young Smith. 
and Headland is away, and he can be the killer here. He can put this beyond the Demons' reach. He nails it. The Dockers are just about there. Going through the motions. Mundy. Black. There it is. On their third attempt, Fremantle win a final. They're into the preliminary final. And who knows how far they'll go in 2006. Fantastic. It's um, to get the uh, monkey off the back, you know. It uh, starts to turn into a gorilla if it keeps hanging around. And, but more importantly, you know, we move into a preliminary final. The players have etched themselves in Fremantle history, but now have the opportunity to etch themselves in foot, football history. Frio by 28 points, an historic first finals victory. Four players scored two goals, while Black, Carr and Shammer were the best. to Telstra Stadium in Sydney for the club's first preliminary final against the Swans. And 61,000 gave the visitors a raucous reception. Pavlich gave his side tremendous drive from centre half forward, but the Swans forward line would prove too potent. He's taking responsibility for it. To give his team a big lift. It was a big mark. Oh, and he's got a result. Crowley has taken it and try and intimidate him from coming out. But he can, and he does.